This is Julian Schnabel exhibition in Chelsea. Take a look at this book. It's huge. Look at my hand. It's ridiculously huge. This is the first painting that is in the entrance. I don't know what he's trying to depict in this picture, but it's quite abstract. It's a huge gallery. Look at this. There's something that shows some figures in this painting. This is the least abstract that you see. For those who don't know, Julian Schnabel is a filmmaker as well. He has done quite a few films in the past. I'm not sure if he's active in filmmaking anymore, but he's definitely proceeding with his paintings. I've never been a fan of his art, but uh, I was just passing by this gallery and I was like, whoa, Julian Schnabel. When was the last time you saw an exhibition? So these are his current works. The frame comes across as if it's made out of plastic and let me get closer to it. No, it's not, it's just painted wood. Quite an interesting choice of carving. And none of his paintings are varnished. They even have a texture to them, if you notice, if you look closely. This painting is actually made out of two pieces. But I think uh, the pieces are sewn together, they're not uh, separate. I don't know what's the reasoning behind splitting the picture when he could just he could have just stretched it. But look at how bright this blue is. It's ridiculously blue. Turquoise actually. And it's very velvety. I don't know how he achieves this. But it's quite fascinating how deep. I don't think the camera can do it justice. That looks like a watermelon, but it's in a weird looking shape. Very bright blues. This wall is extremely huge. It's like probably 20 feet up. Could be more 25 feet up. But this is his current exhibition I'm sure all these elements mean something there's some symbolism going on there I don't know how he achieves these textures it's quite fascinating to see most likely this is not even canvas yes this is uh, velvet. Yep, you could see how velvety the surface is. You see that? So he paints on velf velvet surface, not canvas, to achieve that kind of uh, beautiful brightness of the background. Interesting choice. Let me see this side. So you could see the uh, the velvet is purple so this is probably either automotive velvet or some kind of industrial velvet actually this looks like it was painted do you see there's like a white area of the velvet so it's white velvet but he paints it with spray or something to make it uh, bright colors and then on top of it, he paints with transparent paints of some sort. Most likely oils. 
and you could see some layering going on here. I don't know if you glued it, most likely glued it, but there's actually two layers, one, two. Do you see that? Interesting technique, look at those stars up there. And all of the frames are exactly the same. Oh, it's actually metal. It feels like metal. That's incredible. I forgot the name of this gallery, but it's on uh, 25th Street, I believe. Really fascinating uh, backgrounds. In interesting approach to painting something that stands out. Basically, the velvet makes whatever he paints as an image pop. So you could see that's a light green. See this is velvet. The first couple of layers are probably incredibly hard to adhere to. You could see some cracking going on here. You see? Because he went thick like impasta on it and uh, after it dried it started cracking off I don't know what the uh, longevity of this painting would uh, give you in 10 years time like, let's see if there's any more happenings I was curious about this wall, what's the reasoning, but there's a door, so they figured they'll just put a wall in here and they can show another piece. It's a huge gallery, beautiful gallery. That's another piece. A lot of openings nowadays in Chelsea after the school year started. Look how bright this turquoise color. I don't think my camera gives you the true turquoise. See the floor in this gallery? in this gallery. The ceiling almost feels very shallow because of the span of this space. It's, it's just amazing. I love it. Pace gallery. That's it. I forgot. <laughs> it's a pace gallery. And this is Juni Julian Schnabel on view. This book is probably 50 pounds. The afflicted organ. Spinoza writer. One thing Schnabel is not. Uh, hesitant about is the sizes. All of his paintings are ridiculously huge. All right. 